Welcome on this fine autumnal but August afternoon to live lunch break. Streaming as we speak from the day.com. My name is Rick Coster and I've been seeing this guy play and sing for years and I'm glad to have him with us and this is Ben Kane. Cherry red, and it tastes just fine, just like I said. What will you give up next? My job is to protect you from the line of harm. Just doing my job, I'm doing no harm. Got to break free from these chains. Money for nothing and play your silly games Act like a clown in a crowd and Honey, you have no shame What will you give up next? My job is to protect you From the line of harm yourself in the possibilities for your home, yard, heart, and soul. Come to Farms and see what we're building for you. Offshore, out in the sound, your island getaway awaits. Yes, Block Island beckons. With so much to do and see, a Block Island getaway is now closer than ever. Ride the high-speed Block Island Express from New London on one of four daily departures. Where an island escape is yours at GoBlockIsland.com. That's GoBlockIsland.com. So by doing the house and trade-in, you know, that we use that towards our, our down payment towards this um, condo, and uh, it made life so much easier for us. Um, it took all the worry out of everything. Thanks for joining us on live lunch break. Uh, we're sitting here today with Ben Kane, and you're eating lunch. And a lot of a lot of the comments we get over the have gotten over the course of this series is, what do we do for lunch since we're entertaining you while you eat? Well, Ben thought about that in advance, and he brought us a six pound sack of elk jerky. So that's what we're snacking on during commercials. So thanks for doing that. No problem. I'm just kidding, of course. A lot of you probably recognize uh, Ben because for years he was in the duo Wilson Kane, one of the hardest working. You guys 
played constantly. Plugged. And uh, you're solo now and focused a little bit more on original stuff. How's that working? It's going pretty good so far. Um, the creativity's just exploded. You know, it's you know, time to change, time to do something new, something different. You need to change a pace. So, you know, that's why I've gone solo. Um, and for those reasons only, you know, like there's no other, th I need to do what's right for me. Right. Do you find, you know, a lot of people don't understand the dynamic of a working musician. It's great if you can make a living playing your own stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of folks, uh, including myself in the past, choose the route. I would rather not have a day job and play music, which means right. you play a lot of cover tunes. So now you're making that break. What do you find, since you don't have to focus so much on learning X number of, of yeah. cover tunes, is your mind just exploding with the opportunity of... Yeah. Well, I mean, I still know and I still play a lot of the same stuff, you know. Uh, right now I'm just mixing it up as much as I can. I'm trying to maybe do a cover here and then, you know, throw some more original stuff into my set just because, I mean, it feels really good, you know, to be able to write um, a nice catchy tune, you know, I think it's... Um, but, I mean, I still have all those songs in my head and I still have all of them in my book and right. I can somebody requests something, it's always nice to be able to, you know, throw it out there. I think one thing that when you do segue from, from being a musician that plays copy tunes principally and you start breaking your own stuff in there and people respond, it's, is it a pretty neat feeling uh, to realize, hey, I'm competitive yeah. with, with yeah. material folks yeah. know? I've, you know what, it's, uh, it's so nice, you know. Um, a major thing was, you know, that I want to start playing with some other people too. I want other projects. I want to try to try my hand at different things, playing with a drummer here and there, you know, and I've been doing that, at, you know, um, I've been playing like acoustic open mic nights at the Acoustic Brew out in Voluntown and just jamming with a bunch of guys out there and um, seeing what I can do with it is going to be the most fulfilling thing for me. I mean. All right, well, I'll tell you what, we've got Ben Kane with us on live lunch break. Uh, why don't you play a couple for us? Sure. The song's called Lady Lately. Lady Lately, crazy. Watching over me, lately, lately you've been saying, honey, I've been treating you me. You're a mystery to me, and you always will be. Gonna love you best I can. Lady, lately you've been shady, Just worrying about my love. Where I'm coming from, lady, lately, and saying all these mean things to me. You're a mystery to me, and you always will be. Love you best I can. Oh, no. 
eyes and I wrote it for my grandmother.
Offshore, out in the sound, your island getaway awaits. With so much to do and see, a block island getaway is now closer than ever. Where an island escape is yours at goblockisland.com. So literally, we're changing deeds. You're using your house at an agreed upon number towards a down payment for the purchase here. It couldn't be much easier, really. We believe in the art of handcrafted furniture. Workbench built in the USA to your specifications. The Cloder Farms Keystone Collection. Furniture handmade just for you. And see what we're building for you. We're back uh, streaming at theday.com. I'm Rick Coster on live lunch break, and we're privileged to have with us today a very fine songwriter, Ben Kane. And Ben, we were talking off the air a little bit about the process of songwriting, and uh, depending on whether it, someone's voice fits in a certain key, or maybe the artist likes the, the ringing sound of a particular chord, there are patterns, but you said something really interesting to me. If you hear someone in the audience compliment your voice or a particular song because it reminds them of a style, it inspires you to kind of go in a different direction to explore. Talk a little bit about that. I think it's well, kind of rare. You know, yeah. It's kind of like changing it up, you know, coming back to the same point. Like I, I got to change things while I'm playing my set. If I have a, you know, someone. I hear somebody say something like, oh, you know, his voice sounded really nice. Well, then, say I'm singing in a Cat Stevens style, then I have a tendency to do something more like higher pitch, like a Neil Young. It just kind of throws everybody off a little bit. I think it's, it's kind of funny to be like, wow, you know, that's pretty cool that the, the vocal right. range is so is up and down, and it's, you know, I'm, I'm just blessed that where I can go from very high to very low if I want to. And, you know, um, I think it's just a very cool thing that I'm able to do. Yeah. Uh, people don't expect it. So. And you do that sort of thing thematically f as a songwriter? Um, I think I have a lot more options when I'm writing songs because I can sing in different styles, right. you know, and do a whole lot more with different chord progressions. You know, if, if I want to sing like somebody, I always haven't been able to, you know, kind of get it close or sometimes nail it and and it really just helps with uh, you know these two if I'm writing a two chord progression like on you know some of the songs that I just did and I just try to really mix it up keep it different the good thing is that a you are that versatile but B as a listener it definitely comes out as Ben Kane doesn't yeah. I don't go oh there's Ben trying to be Cat Stevens again or whatever so so that's good well let's play uh, let's play a couple more This song is called This Time, because this time things are going to be different. <laughs> Last night, sitting by myself. 
myself And everything had gone to hell In a bucket in a handbag Now I'm on my way Everything must change Sometimes Everything don't work out fine If I want to This time Everything will be alright Do you need it to This time, everything will be alright. Need it to this time, everything will be just fine. Everything will be alright if you need it to this time. Everything gonna be alright. <laughs> These songs were kind of written together, so I tried to move the chords around and and. Uh, make this one a little bit more upbeat. Same kind of st style of chord progression, but it's called... Uh, it won't be easy. Need no reservations, I've got some time to kill. Sitting here, I'm screaming, trying to sit still. Looking around to find sound that move me around the room. It won't be easy, no. Go on your own road. Travel along. It's 
pretty clear that um, we had something to offer that other listings, other agents listings did not have to offer. We offered them the opportunity to um, sell their home, get their home sold in a very slow, tough market. Come to Cloder Farms. Lose yourself in the possibilities for your home, yard, heart, and soul. Come to Cloder Farms. And see what we're building for you. Offshore, out in the sound, your island getaway awaits. Yes, Block Island beckons. With so much to do and see, a Block Island getaway is now closer than ever. Ride the high-speed Block Island Express from New London on one of four daily departures. Where an island escape is yours at GoBlockIsland.com. That's GoBlockIsland.com. Thanks for watching Live Lunch Break on the last Thursday of August. It feels more like October outside, which I think is personally very cool. But Rick Coster here. You're watching theday.com, and we have with us Ben Kane. Ben is very familiar to a lot of music lovers all across this part of the, because you worked extensively uh, for a long time with Wilson Kane. You've gone solo. Um, as part of the move now, Bring us up to speed on where you're, where you're playing, and well, like tonight I have a, a gig at the Ancient Mariner in Mystic at eight o'clock. Um, you know, I'm playing a whole lot of different places. I'm trying to expand it a little bit. Go ahead, get out to Newport um, and uh, Block Island maybe next summer. Hopefully, do a lot of the vineyards. I'm going to be playing like Saltwater Farms Vineyard, um, hopefully Mogul Sierra and. Um, Stonington Vineyards at some point in time. Um, I'll be up at the Acoustic Brew Tuesday nights to uh, play their open jams. So, you know, if anybody's interested, come on out to the Acoustic Brew. And Todd and Gail are really cool. Um, Todd runs a nice show. He uh, got a real nice sound system. So, come up and, and jam. And, uh, you know, I'm also playing like places locally, more locally, like the Stonefleet Tavern. Um, Penny Lane Pub, places like that. Nice. You know, so. Now, all this vineyard stuff, or this Block Island stuff, just really not work, is it? It's like, got some wine here, mm. or I'm uh, playing it's, on the uh, porch of a hotel at Block Depends Island. Depends on how long I'm playing. <laughs> if I'm playing like a block of, if I'm, you know, playing a three hour set and, uh, you know, and I don't take a break or anything like that, then it gets, it can it's be work. a little bit long. It can be work. I come home yeah. tired. It is work. I, yeah. I was just sort of joking well, around because I did some nice gigs. I'm lucky because I can do what I love. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Now, you've also got a website. Yep. BenCane33.com. Check it out. I always appreciate the hits on the website. Um, it's brand new. I'm getting pictures up there all the time. Pictures and more dates just keep flowing in. So, and Hopefully, at some point, there'll be some merch we can buy. I'm, I'm kind of working on all that stuff, right. working out the details, but yeah, I'm working on some t-shirts and, and uh, magnets and stuff like that. Just Sounds good. Yeah. Well, all right, well, we're privileged to have Ben Kane with us. You want to play one more? Sure. This song right. is called Hanging Around. If you don't want me alone, I can't move 
on if you don't want me around I can't move on till you made up your mind I can't move on till you want me by your side Good, Ben Kane. Thanks for being here on Live Lunch Break. I'm Rick Koster. Check out BenKane33.com and uh, that'll fill you in on where he's going to be. I'd like to thank Cloder Farms, uh, Block Island Express, New London Harbor Towers, and The Guard for sponsoring Live Lunch Break. Next week we have an old friend coming to see us and play for us, a very son fine songwriter, Pat Dodona. I want to thank Pete Woppy and Alex Noons for getting it right in the house. And we will catch you guys next week. Bailey, 